All right, in this in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create your own on-demand geo filter. So Snapchat has that feature now. Uh, you know, when you swipe right, swipe left, you can see your own geo filter. So I created one, but I'm going to go through the process of creating another one, and uh, let's just go from there. So first, you want to go to Snapchat.com, and then once you go to Snapchat, if this doesn't pop up, you can always type in on-demand on hyphen demand is going to take you here to create now. So the first thing I want to do before we create now is a three-step process. It's design, map, and then you buy. So what I'm going to do right now is go through this process and create one. All right, so the first thing we want to do is read the submission guidelines. Um, they have advertising policy, on demand, terms and commission conditions. I know all of you all read that, so that's fine. All right, so you have two things. You have a personal geo filter. It does include any branding. And then you have a business geo filter that promotes a business or brand. Okay? So you cannot make any changes once you submitted it. Um, I have to place a new order. All right. So you have to draw your geo fence. It should cover a relevant area. So in my geo fence, sometimes location isn't exact. So it doesn't use too many points or areas. All right? So it must be 20,000 and 5 million square feet. Alrighty, so they give you all the graphic submissions. You do not use logos, no photographs of people, no URLs, no numbers, no emails. Of course, no drugs, be creative, all that other stuff. No URLs, no phone numbers, no emails. Okay, all right, don't cover up too much of the screen, and you go from there, and then the advertising policies. And then it shows you just all the submission tips and all this stuff. So I did one for business, for my business, for my wedding business. But I'm going to do one for my birthday that's coming up. And then we'll do one. Actually, I'll do one just um, for tomorrow. And then I will add it to this tutorial to show you uh, the geo filter, how it looks. Okay, so let's create it now. And then we'll come back and we will do part two of the tutorial to show you how the geo filter works. So on demand geo filter. So let's hit create now. And it's going to sign you into Snapchat. So I'm going to download the templates because it's always good. If you're going to do this, you might as well go ahead and download the templates they had, okay? So as it's downloading the templates, we'll come right back, and then we will start it up. I'm going to use Photoshop. They give you Photoshop and Illustrator templates, and uh, let's just wait for 30 more seconds for it to download. So once the, thir once the uh, Photoshop and Illustrator templates come around, I'm going to go ahead and, um, and make my own geo filter real quick. Okay, the geo filters are downloaded. I'm going to go ahead and look at. They have Illustrator templates. They have Photoshop templates. I'm more, uh, I'm better with uh, Photoshop, so I'm just going to use Photoshop. Whatever your designer has, just make sure they have it. So they have birthday one, and then they have that one as well. They have congrats, you know, congratulations. They have you know event name here, logo there, all all these little ones for marriage and things like that. Okay. So I'm just going to use um, that one. Actually, no, I'm just going to use an event. Um, let's just use an event real quick. And we're going to use exactly what they have. Okay, so we're going to open up Photoshop. Uh, you may use Illustrator. It doesn't matter. Whatever you are comfortable with, uh, just use it. And then, okay, we're going to click out of that. So I know Photoshop fairly well. And then... So we're going to just go in here, and in here this layer says type. And I may not have a font installed, and that's okay. I don't care about if I don't have the font install, installed. So I'm just going to do this, and then chilling. Okay. Alright, so then we're going to change this font right here, and then we're going to uh, write the Zard 
Crew. All right. So chilling with the fam. That's just my last name, Desire Crew. All right. So I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to make sure it says delete. Either delete that or just put it like that. So the Desire Crew, chilling with the fam. You can delete off of that layer. Okay. Then I'm going to go file and I'm going to go export. I'm going to do quick export as PNG because I know it's going to be right. And then I'm going to go Desire Crew. All right, so once I, I created that in my Photoshop templates, I'm going to choose my file. I'm going to, and it's under Photoshop templates, and it's a PNG. And it needs to be transparent to make sure that you uh, can see through the filter. So, and they give you the right size. And so I don't play around with anything. You go choose a file, you get to see it. Okay, that's fine. Then the next step is when do you want it to run? So, can't run it today. So, I'm going to run it tomorrow. Um, this is March 13th, 2016, and um, I'm going to run it from, it gives you Eastern Standard Time, so I'm going to run it from about 9 a.m. to, we'll just say 8 p.m. Uh, let's see. Let's see if they give it to me. Okay. We're going to run it from 9 a.m., and then we want it to, to finish on March 13th, so let's see. We'll go 9 a.m. And then you want to run it to, okay, they're giving me, they're making me do the times here. So 4 a.m. to, I don't want 5 a.m. <laughs> All right, I really don't want it that time. So, you know what? I'll just do it for two days. I don't care. All right, from, from, from that day to that day. So from 4 a.m. that time, or we can go, and remember the price is all contingent upon how long you, you run this stuff. So to 12 a.m. that time. All right, so then it gives you that. So you have to put in your address. You know where you live, and you know where you uh, you want the geo filter. okay? So, of course, I don't want it in California because I'm not going to be in California. I'm in Maryland, so I'm just going to go ahead and zoom in around the area where I live, or you can put your address in there somewhere close to it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put my address. Actually, you can put a geo filter for anywhere, actually. So, all right. So, where we live, we live around here. And uh, I'm not going to put my address in there so people see it. But, uh, <laughs> but I'm going to make sure that uh, we live right around here. So, I know exactly where we want to be. So, I know the area where we want to be. And remember, you can put your address right in there. So we'll, and we, I'm going to show you how to draw this fence. So we're going to come back a little bit more. And uh, all right. I'm going to put my address up here. Make it a little easier. OK. All right, so we're going to draw a fence. When you go back, your payment's there. It shows you where it's going to be. It shows you your thing. You can always go back. And like I said, I can right-click to delete a point. If I don't want a point right there, I can right-click. I can right-click to delete that point. And then I can move it back here like that, okay? So 705, I don't mind that. So hit that. 705 is going to start. And then I'm going to hit called a Desired Family. Alrighty, it has my credit card information there. Filter type, personal. You agree to the terms of use. And then once you see a geofence, you do all of that. You see all of that, you hit submit. All right, so I'm gonna give a thank you, and then you get to see your orders. All right, and remember, you won't be charged until your geofilter is approved. And if you need to make changes, you can cancel your order and resubmit.